Hi everyone, it's Air Cat Moonlight Book Reviews, and the song today is I Don't Wanna Be Here by Jack Star. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff this week, and the first thing I got was, well not first because I got, was Sci-Fi Now because it had Doctor Who on it. Yay! And, um, it, oh, besides Doctor Who, it has an article on paranormal popularity. Basically, I'll have an, another one in it, but, um, it talks about a couple of books coming out in references to, to why the paranormal thing is so big right now, the genre is so big right now because of Twilight, it's saying, but I don't really think so, but whatever. And then they have opinions on ebooks. And then they have some fringe stuff, but then, like I said, they have Doctor Who stuff because he's coming in back to the BBC in February. Not February. I said spring, but, you know. And then, yeah, I got Doctor Who magazine, and it says, We love Doctor Who, 100 Reasons Why It's the Best TV Series Ever Made. Yay, go Matt Smith. But why I got this, and it comes on the thing, is because I had three free gifts. There's the bow tie, because they couldn't fit the fez in the box, because if you saw in the last episode, he was wearing a fez. And there's two badges, one that says bow ties are cool, and another one that has Geronimo. So, the pins, buttons, my buttons, look like this. Geronimo one, and the bow ties are cool. And then, I got my very own Doctor Who tie. Because bow ties are cool, so I can wear my, my tie now. If I had a dress shirt, I could. And then the magazine looks like this. Has Amy Pond in it too. Again with the sonic screwdriver. The time team. Which is fun. So I got those and I really, really, really can't wait for the next series to come out because it's going to be set in America. And then the next book I got was, if you guys remember, for over 100 days, maybe 150 days, I had that creepy widget on my blog that um, it was at the top of the page. And when you went to it, it would, like, it would go, I can see you or something. Or no, it would, please help me. And it would say it in a creepy voice. And I'd jump every time I'd see it. And it would freak me out. But I had to keep it up. It's, um, I don't know, it was for the book Cries Crossed by Lisa McMahon. On the back it says, please save me. It's, um, a girl has to help save, um, someone who, I guess, who's haunting the play. I don't really know. But, um, I know that it's creepy. And that a lot of people who have read it have said, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like the creepiest story they've ever read. And it talks, small town, small secrets, which is like my town. And moving on, I got Lauren Oliver's Delirium. Which is um, about how in this time period is about kind of a, I don't know how to describe the, the society in this book thinks that love is a disease and it's a delirium you catch and um, you go through a procedure that takes it away or that so that you can't be loved because being, because you can get the, because love drives you, there's old times when love would make you mad if you had it or if you didn't. But I didn't realize when I got this book that when you take the cover off, it's like really pretty too. Like I, That's like surprising because like it's shiny there and then it just fades. So that one's good. So that one's really pretty. Can't wait for that one. And then, keeping on the whole Doctor Who theme, I got two stickers. One says... I tolerate the century, but I don't enjoy it, Dr. Who quote. And the other one's for my car that says, my other car is the TARDIS. Which is cool. I got those from Cafe Press. And then, another book I got, which, I don't know, it was on my books, my desired books, or upcoming books, one of those posts. It's 
Entangled by Cat Clark, and you can't get it in American bookstores because it's only in the UK. But I figured out how to get that you could get it from the book depository. So I got it from there, and it's um about a girl whose life quickly changes, and she doesn't know what this guy wants from her anymore, and she's scared. And then on the bottom it says a story of dangerous secrets, intense friendship, and electrifying attraction. So that one looks cool. The whole like when what I've looked up on it, um, it's about it's kind of all kind of fuzzy about what it's actually about. But I like that in books because I don't like reading usually don't like reading the back cover because it tells everything about the book. But this one's like it has a quote from her like, "Am I going to die? How could I have let this happen? What does he want from me?" The same questions whirl around and round in my head. Seventeen-year-old year old Grace wakes up in a white room with a table, pens, paper, and no clue how she got there. So that one looks cool. Um, I'll go with this one next. Sandra Mitchell. I tweeted that I couldn't wait for her book, The Vespertine. Looks like that. And a lot of people, like Carrie Ryan, April and Pike, and Sarah McLean, have talked, have blurbs about how they liked it. I won't go into it because you probably know. But she sent me some, Sandra sent me some swag. I got a fan. Which is cool. I also got some bookmarks. These ones are shiny, they're not matte. Some more swag for you guys. Tons of swag now. I got, um, she sent me a card. She signed it, which is cool. And then I got a dance card. Because you know, like, you used to wear these around your wrists when you, in old times, and then the boys would sign your card for a dance, your slot for a dance. And she signed the, I can't read it, but she signed one of them for me then too. Which, this is a really cool idea of all these things. And then she gave me a book plate for when I get my book. So, can't wait for the book to come out yet, and thank you, Sandra, for sending me those to tide me over. It's really light, can you guys tell? When you get this done, though. And then, two more books. Another book I got was Other People's Love Letters, 150 Letters You Were Never Meant to See. It's edited by Bill Shapiro, and it's all these love letters from people. Here's some older ones. They're all scanned into here. Some of them are newer. Some of them are typed. Um, there's just quick notes. Like that. They're all kind of cute in here. It's kind of like the post-secret stuff, but I love, like, here's some more scanned and post-it notes. I thought that was cute. And then the book... Like another book I got, which it kind of sounds like Vampire Academy, but it's, but not like because I think she's human. It's called Crusade by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigay. Vigay? I'm not quite sure. Um, it's about how the vampires are taking over the world, and a few chosen people are sworn to protect the humanity. And then it's about this girl who she gets separated from her hunting group and she's like a lone person. And she realizes when she's visiting her family that the city that she's in has been taken over as a stronghold for the vampires. And then from there, I'm not quite sure because I have to read the book. So, that's what I got this week. I got a lot. I usually don't get this many. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a great week and put your IMMs into my, um comments box or tweet them to me on Twitter and I'll look them up and I will see you guys next week but I don't know if I'll be doing a lot this week because this next coming week is for Michigan it's testing week so we all have to take the AC like everybody in the state is taking the ACT Tuesday the work keys Wednesday and the MME Thursday so it's all testing next week for juniors in the state of Michigan, which is me. So I shall have a fabulous week with that. And I hope you guys bear with me if I don't post too much on my blog because I have a lot going on. 
And again, I'll see you next week. And if you have anything cool going on in your blog, again, tweet it to me. Um, email me or something so I can go look you guys' blogs up and look at it. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you.